to the largest swimsuit haul ever. You think you know me? Because I'll be honest, half of these suits are going to be straight up my butt because they're too short. <laughs> Just call them a sparkle crouch. Saying too much, I need to simmer down, recenter. channel and hello if you're new here now as our intro very clearly stated today is a big day because we are doing the largest swimsuit haul in YouTube history to be specific we're gonna be trying on a hundred and one suits <laughs> and I will probably be a delicious hot mess by the end of it um, the cool thing about this haul is some of the brands I know, some of them I've never tried before, but every single suit I will be trying on for the very first time with you. So you'll get to see my initial reaction to each of these suits. Now, because there are so many suits, we won't be talking in detail about every single one. We're gonna more specifically talk about the brand at a higher level. Now, if it's a brand that's completely new to Plus and there's very little information about them, I might give a little bit more note on how they're constructed just to make sure you you guys have the information you have to buy a swimsuit now if you can't find a swimsuit after watching this haul then I can't help you because literally it has everything we've got everything from a string bikini to a swim dress so literally anybody looking for a swimsuit can find a suit in this haul and that includes those of you who aren't plus size because many of these suits are size inclusive and available anywhere from size extra small up to four five six X in some cases it's a lot of suits it's a lot of of options and it's a lot of bodies that can feel fabulous in the summer sun wearing them and I'm gonna be your guinea pig I'm gonna try all of them on I'm gonna give you my honest feedback on how they fit and um yeah we're gonna go on this ride together <laughs> I gonna I'm gonna ask that you guys be patient with me because trying on a hundred and one suit suits <laughs> suits is a very ambitious task it, it, I may, I may have, yeah, I, I'm probably gone too far with this one, but I wanted to do something big and to distract myself from all the chaos that's going on in my life right now. And this is what came out. One thing I want to note before we go into the haul is that every single one of these suits is under $75 or was under $75 when I bought them. So I did buy a lot of them around Memorial Day and I was able to get a good sale price. So if it is a little bit over that price, that's the only reason why it's because they were on sale when purchasing. I wanted to make sure that these suits were affordable so that everyone could find something they liked. There are a lot of brands that offer like much more expensive suits, but I felt like, you know what, they get a lot of attention otherwise. I wanted to focus on things that you guys could afford and love and feel fabulous in this summer season. So without further ado, let's jump into the largest swimsuit haul on YouTube history. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you So we're gonna kick this off with a suit that I love from H&M It is a bright orange and hot pink whirly print H&M is a great place to shop for swim Though they don't have a lot of suits They have really cool suits and I feel like not a lot of people shop for swim there so it's a great way to find something unique that someone else is not gonna have meh next up is one of my favorite indie brands called lime Ricky they make totally size inclusive swim from a size I think extra small all the way up to a four maybe five X and what I love about their swimsuits is they're so smartly designed so let's take this swim bottom right here we have this orange lovely polka dot print and you can flip it inside out for a totally different print that way you can buy one bottom buy two tops and you're all set 
Also, the swimsuit is totally adjustable in length. So if you are a long torso girl, their one pieces are awesome because you can give yourself a little bit more strap length, which is gonna help with your long torso. Overall, the Lime Ricky Swim is really well constructed and I buy them literally every summer because they are such high quality and they're run by an all women team. And that's, you know, I love to support ladies just out there crushing it. This is definitely one of my new favorites. Um, I've gotten to the point where like, I just couldn't figure out the lacing in the back of the suit. So I just shoved them in the suit and you know what? It works and it still looks great. It's a tankini, but it looks like a one piece. I love it. So one of my favorite places to buy plus size anything is Iloqui and their swim is no exception. They have a lot of really cool modern prints with marbling, bright florals, but they also have lots of interesting details that are a little bit more expensive and higher end than you would see in some other suits. For example, this swimsuit has this really nice acetate chain built into it. We have some really interesting details like fun and big sleeves like we have in this top. And then we also have some interesting cutouts. Really, this brand is great for anyone who wants a fashion forward swimsuit, something of the moment that's gonna make them stand out and isn't afraid to wear color or be bold. I really love Iloqui because I feel like they really do deliver fashion for plus size women versus just, you know, functional garments. So if you're looking for a fashion fashionable suit. This is definitely the brand to check out. They have a lot of amazing options and the prints like literally to die for, right? Like how amazing is this floral and this marble? Exceptional. If this swimsuit haul has taught me anything, it's that I should create a one piece swimsuit line for plus size ladies with long torsos. I don't love it. I don't hate it. She's a colorful cougar. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this one. Ah! Next up is a brand from the UK. I know a lot of you ask me like, where can I buy suits internationally? And yours is a great option. Yours has all kinds of plus size clothing. This is my first time buying their swim, so I have no clue how it's gonna net out. But I really loved how their stuff is a little bit more full coverage, but still kind of trendy. So for example, this swim dress is actually really cute. It's one shoulder, it's got a fun like detail here with the buckle, but it's still a swim dress. So you can get full coverage while still being a little bit more fashion forward and modern. I also grabbed a bikini from them because I wanted to see how it fit. And I also am noticing that they have fun little details like these metal clips here, and then also just like a full coverage bottom. So this is a brand that's new to me for swim, so I will be trying these on for the first time and will definitely give you my opinion about how I feel about the suits overall. So cute. Love. Honestly, this is my most favorite swim dress I've ever tried on. It looks modern, it looks cute, but it also gives you a lot of coverage, so winner. Okay, so next up we have a brand called Curvy Beach. Curvy Beach is another indie brand. They make all kinds of fun prints and they have like some really wild stuff like sparkle swimsuits, metallic, neons, all kinds of really, really bold suits. Now they're famous for these side tie bottoms and also being the first brand to really make string bikinis for plus size. So definitely check them out if you're looking for something a little bit wilder. And yeah, obsessed with this print. And I love the little booty teaching in the back. These suits are from a brand called Adore Me. Now, interestingly enough, Adore Me has supposedly just revamped their plus sizing, which we always love to see. We love when a brand listens and applies the feedback we give them. So this will be my first time trying them on with the new sizing. Overall, looking at them right now, they look like they're gonna fit great. And I love kind of the modern basics approach they're taking to their swim. I think these are swimsuits that a lot of women would love to wear. Well. My dignity is gone with this one. There's a, there's a solid two inches of butt crack out in the back and uh, I would never wear this. This is super cute, fun. So if you're looking for vintage inspired swim, Mod Cloth is definitely one of the places to check out. They go all the way up to a 4X. And as you can see here, really amazing retro prints. One thing to note about Mod Cloth is honestly, a lot of their suits like vary in what sizes they're available, which I did find a little frustrating when I was shopping for them because I would find like a really cute suit and then I would see that it was like not in my size, but somehow still in the plus size section. So just keep that in mind. Don't even look at the suits until you sort by your size or you'll be very sad like I was. 
I'm helping you prevent pain here, guys. But I love that there's, they do provide those vintage options for plus size ladies. They are, I believe, independently owned now. They were at one point owned by Walmart and then something happened. But I think their suits are definitely very unique in comparison with other brands. That's why I love them. They do have that nice retro flair. I picked these because they had a 70s vibe. And as you guys know, I'm like into that right now. So there you go. Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. Your 4X is more like an 1820. Whoever's doing your sizing needs an education. Not so good. These suits are from Amazon. And we all know that Amazon is really like, it's hit or miss, man. You never know if stuff's gonna fit. You never know if it's gonna be what you wanted it to be. I am looking at these, I am pleasantly hopeful, especially with this rainbow ass bikini. Like this is, everything we want in the month of June. And I feel like I've done a good job here. What I will say about Amazon swimsuits is they are not as high quality as some of the other brands that I have in this massive haul. <laughs> There's so many, but they, you can get them literally the next day. And so if you are leaving somewhere and you need a swimsuit last minute, Amazon's probably your best bet. Now I have linked obviously swimsuits in the past from Amazon and I will link more obviously these in this haul, but I will say read the reviews. The key to finding a good swimsuit on Amazon and like knowing if the fit works or not is to read the reviews and do your research. It sucks. It's not fun, but the sizing is incredibly inconsistent. And if you don't read the reviews, it's very likely you'll get something that isn't what you thought it would be. Now I did read the reviews on these and I am looking and I'm saying, I think most of them will work. This is the only one where I think my butt may be too big for it, but everything else I think, I think is gonna work pretty well. And that's because I read the reviews. You know what? The bottoms are just <laughs> a little too small. This is like the perfect suit for pride, hands down. This is giving big fruit stripe gum energy. <laughs> Rainbow Zebra. Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. You'll think I'm so this is the first, it was from Amazon and the suit bottoms were just too small. This is another Amazon suit where the top fit but the bottom was too small. So I wanted the swimwear haul to be as inclusive as possible. So I wanted to include a brand called Tomboy X, which really makes gender neutral style swimsuits. And honestly, they're pretty freaking cool. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about these swimsuits because they are so different than anything else in this haul. The first we have is this really cool like leotard that is like a short, short leotard thing that honestly I would just wear out because I think it's cute with a fun rainbow stripe up the side. So it definitely will give you all the full support you need, but won't necessarily be gender reaffirming. It'll just be gender neutral. And then this is so cute. It's a pair of swim shorts, which I've never thought I could own a pair of swim shorts, but how fun are these with the little lace up ties with a bra top that is sporty and cool. And honestly, again, this is something I would just wear out. So I just wanted to shout out this brand if you're looking for something that's really gender neutral or even, you know, a little bit more, a little less feminine. This is a great, great, great brand. They do amazing things for the community. They are a small business. I 100% support them. And if it's out of your price range right now, I know they launched a collection with Target, which might be more affordable in conjunction with Pride. So this is a great brand to check out. It, even if you just want some cool ass swim shorts, cause these are, these are bomb. Um, yeah, check out Tomboy X. I feel like my thighs are just too mighty for these shorts. <laughs> Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. You'll think I'm still the Tomboy X suit, I'm so mad that I wasn't able to try this on, but again, it was just a hip issue and I didn't want to damage the suit. So the suit itself probably would have fit me great. It's just not enough room for me to get my hips through. So this brand, I feel like is slowly becoming one of the best brands for plus size swim, which is a little shocking to me because not too long ago, and by not too long ago, I mean like a year ago, I used to call them lame Bryant. <laughs> and now I call them Lane Bryant because they have definitely stepped up their game when it comes to swim. They are offering so much variety, everything from really cool style monokinis like we have here, or even look at this, who would have thought a mainstream brand would make a string bikini in fat girl sizes. This 
to me is everything. The fact that I can own and wear something like this from a store that I can walk in and purchase, right? There are Lane Bryant's in brick and mortar locations all over and they're carrying this type of swim. And I think that's a really amazing leap forward for them. And I feel like it's worth calling out. I will also say for those of you that need underwire support, they've got really great underwire kind of bra solutions. Again, it's not something I typically look for in a suit, but I did want this haul specifically to cover every single base. So I know that others, sometimes other swim companies, and I've heard this specifically about Torrid, don't have as much room in the chest. And I've heard the opposite from people who shop a lot at Lane Bryant, that they have a lot more cup size options for the swim. So you can get something that really is gonna fit and support your bust. You can also get something that is gonna let it jiggle jiggle with the string. Um, I will say that we have five suits from them and every single one of them I'm super excited about, but one I was a little bummed about and I'm just gonna point this out. I ordered this super cool rainbow top and the bottoms were also supposed to be rainbow and they're not. And I just wanted to point that out because when you get a shipping issue, it always sucks. It always sucks, especially when it's something like this one. It would have been like the cutest little suit. And now it's not as cute, right? Because you don't have that little extra detail. But overall, one thing I will also say before I, before I move on from Lane Bryant, they really do vary their styles so much. So we have kind of this top for someone who might want more coverage, even some arm coverage. Then we have everything to like a string bikini as I've showed you like eight times. I'm just really excited about this one, guys. It's gonna look so good on me. And I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't have the patience to wait. The reason I'm so excited about it and I'm just gonna talk for a second cause I, cause it's who I am. It's the first time I've seen one of these where I felt like the lady bits portion was large enough for a plus size woman. Like the other ones are always just so tiny and I'm like, listen, I got a fupa and it needs to be covered and it's not gonna be covered if your like bikini bottom is like half of this, like this big. So I feel like this might actually be a string bikini that works for me and looks freaking fabulous. So that's probably the one I'm most excited about. <laughs> but I, overall, like generally super impressed with Lane Bryant's like movement forward in the swim category. This is sexy mama. Honestly, if it were the right bottoms, this would be the perfect pride suit. Unfortunately, these are not the rainbow ones. I want to be this girl, but I'm not this girl. I just, I don't feel like I can like move and live as I want to live in a suit like this. This suit is super cool. This suit makes me feel so innocent and sweet. I'm not. <laughs> Here is another brand for my international babes and also another brand I have literally never tried before. So this is called Ula Pop Pop Popkin, Popkin? Ula, Ula like. Isn't that from like that musical springtime for Hitler? Yeah, it is. Anyway, Ula Popkin. Um, I don't know how I feel about any of these because I've never tried them on. I will say they've got some pretty fun things. Love this mesh detail. Like they're not afraid to give you a little sexy. Uh, definitely I love orange, so I like that. This is the top, so this looks like a tankini. I don't even remember what I bought at this point, guys, because there's so many suits. So there are some different options. Mostly one pieces, I feel like they're so had. I don't know, they feel okay, but I, I have no clue if these are gonna fit me. They did get here really fast to have come from Europe, so they must have a storehouse here. Um... Everything's in like a Scandinavian language. So I can't really read what it's made out of, but they look fairly well constructed. I do like the prints. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. I will say that these are a little bit more basic than some of the other suits, though I really do like, I just wanna point this one top out. It has some nice like scallop details, which I think are kind of fun, but Generally a more basic brand of swim and definitely more full coverage. Uh, wanted to give them a try because many of you DM'd me about this brand to do a haul from them in general. So I thought, you know, I'm ordering a bajillion swimsuits. Maybe this is a great time to give them a first run. And let me know if you wanna see a full haul from them in the future because I feel like they might have some good stuff beyond swim. Um, I was just focused on swimsuits when I was looking at their site. Nothing about this is right. The top's too big, the bottom's too small. I don't even know. So fun. Aren't you glad it's another suit? Data, come here. Come here. I'm gonna pick you up and you're gonna be in this one. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. You'll think I'm 
This suit is from Ula Popkin, and honestly, I maybe could have gotten it on, but I have a firm belief that you shouldn't ever struggle to put on a swimsuit, and I'm not gonna fight a war to go on a beach, so it just didn't get over my hips. I feel like the suit would have fit otherwise, so if you're not as hippie as me, this might work for you. Okay, so I have to fess up and say I have like no clue who any of these characters, well, no, I know I knew who this one is. This is Sailor Moon, but at Hot Topic, <laughs> You can get a lot of character inspired swim. And I wanted to get some Disney ones, but they just didn't have any Disney suits that I was like in love with um, or didn't already have slash have already worn. So we got a Sailor Moon. We got, does anyone know what this character is? This one? <laughs> there is some man out there watching this haul being like, finally. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if you need these for swim or for romantic interludes, but they are swimsuits and they are themed by different characters and I thought they were fun. So I bought them. Also for my like gamer girls, I wanted them to have options too. Like my anime, my gamer girls, all, I wanted them to have their whole world too. Again, I wanted everyone to feel included in this all. So I really did buy things I would never buy normally. Like, I, I, no, I don't even, I just bought this because I was like, this is hilarious. I don't know what this is. I like looked at it and I was like, well, is it a rabbit? Is that, is it supposed to be a rabbit? If you know what this is, can you just explain it in the comments? So cute. <laughs> it ain't my thing, but it's somebody's thing. I feel like an adult baby and that's a lot to process. I'm a sexy bunny. <laughs> okay, now we're going to we're going to talk about one of my favorite swimsuit brands now, which is ASOS. And it's because it's a cornucopia. You can literally get anything on ASOS. Uh they do move quickly. So if you see a swimsuit, you kind of got to snag it right when you see it. But we got everything from like a glitter swimsuit to some type of baroque, like this feels like JLo would wear it. Like JLo would wear it 100% and she'd be like, "I'm Jenna from the block, but with more money now." to like here's a graphic print for an artsy girl to like just like literally everything including and this is my favorite swimsuit of this entire haul experience because it's just so freaking ridiculous i don't know why you would buy it other than doing a massive haul but like come on people this is a 3d flower <laughs> swims <laughs> what why but I think that that is the beauty of ASOS is that you can get something like this, but then you can get something practical, like just a general kind of unique floral print. There's literally everything on ASOS. But again, as I said, they move fast. So if you see a swimsuit you like on there, you literally got to buy it right away because it will sell out way faster than you ever could have imagined. Um, but yeah, God. You know, I didn't even talk about this, but this is probably my favorite one. And it's like a neon floral. And I love that it doesn't match, but then it does match. Love. Too big in the top. So sassy. I feel like this is mm, disco. The joys of having a long torso. You can look like this in a swimsuit. <laughs> this is not my vibe. Sparkle, baby. Sparkle. I don't love it as much as I thought I would. Okay, so this brand I have very mixed feelings about. And the fact that they made this haul is because I'm kind. <laughs> um, I really, I used, the thing is I used to love them. I used to feel really passionate about swimsuits for all. But then I realized that all their swimsuits run super small and a lot of their really cool sizes aren't available in actual plus sizes. They might go up to like a 22 or 24, but with their sizing, that's more like a 20, sometimes 22. And so the sizing like doesn't work. So when I go and shop them, I'm really limited to like one pieces, an occasional two piece. But that said, they are one of the few sizes that offer larger sizes. And I wanted to make sure that my girls who are above a size, you know, 26, 28, that they would have options as well. And they are one of the few sizes that carry that. So I included these suits because of that reason. But I am frustrated, just as I'm frustrated with Women of Thin, if you guys watch that haul, that this brand that really does cater to plus sizes doesn't really size or think about plus sizes when they're making their clothing. It's a little bit frustrating that this brand that's 
basically completely built around bodies like mine is totally out of date with their sizing, right? So I did get some suits. These are all, you know, basically one pieces. Some have some interesting details, but they're pretty dang basic. But here's an example of why I get frustrated with Women Within. And I'm just gonna be straight up, um, well, that's the parent company of Swimsuits for All. We're looking at this one piece, right? Look at the size of the neckline. Like that is not likely going to work with a body that's like that. So I don't even know if these are gonna go over my hips. They, sh they should, but they're sizing so whack that one can only pray guys, but I wanted to make sure that there were these options in there. And I will say if you're an apple shape, they're going to fit you a lot better. It's the pear shape girls that are going to struggle to make this brand work for them. But I am here. I am doing, I don't want to say the Lord's work because that feels like a little bit too <laughs> making this too important, but I am doing the fat girls work and trying these on for you. Uh, so <laughs> be nice, <laughs> be nice because these are already basic AF and they may not even work. I'm keeping it real. You know, thanks Swimsuit for All. Thank you for believing in me. But um, yeah, I don't got the chest for this. I like this one. It's basic, but it's super cute. Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. You'll think I'm okay, we have three suits from uh, swimsuits for all that did not work. And all of them did not work because they did not have enough hip room to put them on. And again, could I have wiggled my big butt into these? Yes, but is it worth it? No. And I really feel and stand by, you should buy a swimsuit that's easy and comfortable to put on because you won't wear it unless it is. So this is another totally and completely new to be brand called Dipping Daisies. Now, I was really, really excited about these, but I'm a little nervous now that I've seen them. The tops totally look like they will fit and be perfect for me, but the bottoms, uh, yeah, not so much. <laughs> I need all of you to pray that I can cram my ham hocks into these tiny ass bottoms. Um, I'm not gonna make it, try to make it work if it doesn't work, but, I will say, I love seeing new brands try to make plus. I would encourage them to hire a plus fit model before launching and not just to grade up. What is also frustrating is that these tops look like they will work and they're very, very cute. But if I can't get a bottom that matches, it's really kind of besides the point. So, um, yeah, this is this is one where I need you all to pray for me right now. Because this, <laughs> this is about to go to a very dark place. Say I'm as cold. Dipping daisies. I am so mad that these don't work because they're freaking adorable. I mean, look at this top. But unfortunately, their 3X is about the size of an extra large. You know how I know? Because I have a friend who's an extra large and she's going to be taking these suits home because they fit her. You can call me basic. You can call me lame. You can call me cheap. I don't care what you call me, but I always love Walmart. I love Walmart. And I will say that they are not going to be the most unique or completely fashion forward suits, though they are doing a pretty good job at being fashionable, but they are going to be reliable and they're going to fit pretty well. Um, they also have a lot of fun prints this season and just trying some interesting things. Like I really like this crochet top. I have not seen another crochet top in plus and I really like this. Now, I'm not a huge purple person, but I'm gonna rock it because I think it's cute. I like that the bottoms also have the crochet detail. Like this is a cute ass suit at a great price. So if you're on a budget, Walmart is the place to go. And I will say Walmart, fighting words here, better than Target right now. So in short, Walmart, you looking good. You looking good, girl. You looking good. These are huge. Like, look, I can fit a whole other suit in here. John, throw me a suit. Boom. I can hide the whole thing. <laughs> Pro trip, just use another bikini for a little extra padding. The colors in this suit just make me happy. I actually really love this suit. I love, love, love this detail. Say I'm as cold hearted as they this suit was from Walmart and um, it just, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't fit. It just didn't work for me. So this is a brand I have not bought swim from in years and that's Boohoo. 
Um, why have I not bought Swim from Boohoo? I don't really have any reason. I don't know, I guess I just haven't liked it. But as we are doing 101 suits, they made the cut. So we, what I will say about them is it's like super cheap. It's a super cheap swimsuit, uh, affordable AF. They do actually have some cute ones right now. Pretty bold prints. I do, like just to shout out this swimsuit, I really like the way it feels. It's got a weird texture to it and I like it. <laughs> it's too big. No. <laughs> this is a hard no. This is from Reb Dolls, and Reb Dolls is pretty hit or miss when it comes to swim. But when they hit, they hit hard. Uh, I will say if you're into like really more like hot girl style swim, they are the best provider of that. They are love the flossing. Well, this is gonna have a lot of flossing. If you don't know what flossing is, it's this trend where you just like tie a thing around your waist a bunch of times. This is where fashion has gone, people. I'm just. I'm just presenting it to you. They also have just like different suits that you're not going to see everywhere. I am very nervous about this one because I've just noticed that that is going straight up my butt. So this will be the first thong. Help me. Help me. I want to go home. Um, This is, yeah, I don't, I'm, mm, mm. I've never worn a thong. This will be the only time I wear a thong in front of the camera and I will show you what it looks like. Oh God, maybe, 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 maybe. Love. They're like, try new things. It'll be fun. This isn't fun. No, no. When I think of brands that people sleep on, uh, Lanzette is one that always comes to mind. Now it's probably because they use these super weird bottles that aren't real people at all, but like avatars. And I think it creeps people out because 100% when I'm shopping for Swim or anything on their site, I'm like, this would be less creepy if it was a real person modeling it and not an avatar. Um, but if you can get past that super creepiness, they have like adorable suits that are super comfortable and super supportive. So I wanted to show them. I have shown them before in previous hauls, but I just, I felt like it couldn't be a swim haul if I didn't include them because they are such a cool find. And I will say that their suits hold up extremely well. Like they are very high quality, will last you multiple seasons. So are worth the investment if you're interested in them. So cute. I love the little retro vibes on this one. OG fat girl swimsuit brand, Torrid is definitely representing. I will say though, this season they had a lot of black and I just don't wear a lot of black swimsuits. Definitely I have some in this haul because I know some of you are looking for a black swimsuit and I wanna give you something to look at, but I felt like they came down a little bit this year from where they've been in the past. Like their suits are still cute, but they're not as cute as they've been in the past. Now maybe, maybe I just missed like some stellar drop of swim that's gonna come out in the next couple days and just blow everybody away. But from what they had, this is the best I could find. I will say I'm very into this rainbow cheetah print one. It's probably my favorite of the of the selection. But this this purple one is basic, man. It's it's good, it's comfortable. And it's, it's nice, it's basic. I do like a good one piece from them. They are the best in my opinion for people that have long torsos. If you have a long torso and you wanna wear a one piece, I feel like Torrid is your best bet. We are sisters, we stand together. Cheetah girls. <laughs> okay, I definitely should wear this color more because this looks fantastic. I like this suit, but it's too hard to put on. So I'm gonna pass. Okay, this brand just has random ass swimsuits. I don't have any other way to say it. Like sometimes I'm like, wow, that's the coolest suit I've ever seen. And sometimes I'm like, I pulled what I think are the coolest ones with fun details. Like I love the chains on this one. And oh my gosh, this suit, guys, guys. <laughs> Who doesn't want a sparkle crotch? <laughs> the one thing I always remembered about her is how her crotch glistened in the sunlight. Call him a sparkle crouch. 
Well, this suit is a knit slip waiting to happen. J-Lo who? You know when they say beauty is pain? They were talking about this swimsuit. Yeah, rhinestones between your thighs is basically a plus-size woman's worst nightmare. Add to the fact that when I successfully got the suit on, the strap broke. This is by far my least favorite suit in this haul because it's mean and I don't like it. So fashion to figure is kind of newish on the swimsuit game. I think they launched their first swim collection. I want to say last year, maybe it was the year before with to Bira Mayors. I might have said her name wrong. But since then, they've steadily started offering more and more like really fashionable suits, really trendy suits. Here's the thing I will say about them. I don't find them to be as high quality as Iloqui. I find them just like a little bit of a step down, but the price point is the same. So I would say unless you really love a suit from them, wait till it goes on sale because I think they are priced a little high for what they are. And part of that is because they do a lot of collaborations with um, like plus size influencers. So I think the price point goes up because they're factoring in the fact that they have to play, pay for the promotion from the influencer. A couple of these I believe are from influencer collections. I know this one specifically is from Gardner Style, but I think several of these, these are from collections and some of them aren't at all. Some of them are just swim. The one I'm probably most excited about is this because I love orange and pink is like, this combo is classic. I also am curious, I say curious because I don't trust it. But that's the back of this suit. The front of this suit is like full on lace up discovery. And I just, I don't know how I feel about it. This I feel like would be really cute for a bachelorette party. If you were a bride, like if you are looking for a bridal suit, this is pretty bomb. And I love that the suit has like clear straps, right? So you could just like rock out. I will say these age a little bit younger than Illiqui, right? So like if you're looking for something that's hip in your 20s, this is probably the place to go in terms of shopping, lots of cutouts, lots of skin. If you are afraid of showing your body, this is gonna be a harder brand for you because a lot of them tend to have cutouts, tend to be a little bit more showy because these are for girls that are ready to go out and show off, right? And not for the shy girl. <laughs> Fashion figure is not for the shy girl. They do have one or two suits that are, tend to be a little bit more conservative. But as you can see, most of them have cutouts or details where there's a lot of skin exposed. Real talk, I, I feel like my boobs are going to fall out. So this is a suit I would never normally try on. And because of this haul, I did. And I'm so glad because I think it is super fierce. I love how it looks. And duh, try new things and they might surprise you. Obsessed. <laughs> I feel like this is the swimsuit version of just like trying too hard. It's, it's got too much going on. These ruffles, man, they just don't lay right. I just don't think it's very me. Well, yeehaw, sugar. Okay, so this is the brand with the most swimsuits and I'm so mad that it's the brand with the most swimsuits. This is Old Navy. Here is the rub with Old Navy if you're completely like unconnected to what's going on. Basically, Old Navy used to offer all of their plus sizes in store. And it was like a big deal and they made a big deal about it. They did a lot of press. They did a lot of yabbing about how cool they were that they were offering all these things in store and how inclusive they were as a brand. Uh, unfortunately, that did not pan out for them more because of the way they executed it other than the demand. Uh, they just didn't... <sighs> Frankly, they put too much plus in the stores at one time, took away some of the other sizes, didn't advertise enough, and also didn't advertise for long enough. Like they made a decision after three months in store and it takes like a year to two years for people to start understanding that they can go into a store and purchase. But that, that's besides the point. The fact of the matter is, is they have pulled plus size out of some of their stores. This has made a lot of people upset. It's made me specifically upset because I love Old Navy. I think that they have been doing a great job at supporting plus bodies. And yeah, their fit could be a little bit better, but so could like freaking every brand. But in terms of the variety of swim available, they're the winners. Like they're literally the winners. And it's so frustrating to have to say that, knowing that they're also at the same time making decisions to make plus slightly less accessible. Now, here's the thing I will say. Many of you shop online and many of you don't even care. Like, I'll be very real. Not everybody cares that's not available in stores. And for me personally, just as an individual who normally shops online, who finds that more convenient, 
I don't really mind that I can't go to my Old Navy and shop in store. But I also recognize that many people prefer to go in store and try things on. And for those people, this is like a total slap in the face. So I'm gonna show you all of these suits and I I'm, I do it knowing that they have stopped carrying as much plus in stores. I will say that there are stores that still have plus. I believe only some of them had the plus removed. It's very unclear. I'm gonna be really honest, it's really unclear. And I didn't have time to research, but I will eventually find out because I used to film in their store all the time. And obviously now I may not be able to. So I'll find that out when I try next time. But again, all of that said, their suits are really cute. Their suits are great and there are tons of options. You can literally wear any type of suit from them. You know, full coverage, partial coverage, string bikini, rash guards, um, you know, halter tops, you know, patriotic suits. You got your, you got your flag tees and your patriotic suit. Uh, so many prints, so many colors, so many options that it's so sad. That they, that they did all of this, all of this beautiful design in size versatility, and then just didn't go the final step, right? But that said, you may not even care. You may not care at all. You might be like, I shop online, who gives a crap? And thus you have an amazing option for swim. The only caveat I will say is, if you need to get something last minute, it really does, suck being plus size. If you need to get something like the same day, it really does suck. So yeah, um, we're ending with this brand. I put them last so that only the people who watched this full haul would see all of this um, and be able to understand why I didn't take them out, but also wanted to acknowledge the fact that, yeah, they kind of did us a little dirty with that. It's super cute, but I need to size down in the top. This is a new top style for me. And I really like it. Cute. Tootie fruity, but not a cutie. It's cute. Oh, she's bold. It's not my favorite bottom, to be honest. You know, I have never really bought a bandeau soap before, but I like this one. Huh, I like it. America. <laughs> um, these are supposed to be the same color, but they don't match and I can't unsee it. So I could never wear it. She's fun. I like this one. I like this suit, but it's like a little tight down here and like a little bit big up here, so it just doesn't work for me. Okay, so we had some late arrivals that did not arrive in time for me when we did the talking head, so I thought I would walk you guys through them really quickly. The first is a brand called Curvy Waves. I had never heard of this brand before. I found them on a Google search, and um, they had a lot of really cool swimsuits, kind of modern styles, definitely very um, fashion forward. I'm keeping it, but I don't, I don't know why. I don't think I'll ever wear it to the pool, but I feel like I'm gonna need this at some point in my life, and I need to have it on hand, ready. All of these are too small. The only one that fit was the gold lame one that you saw me try on. All the others, two to three sizes too small. The second is a brand called Girlfriend Collective. You guys know that I've talked about them in fitness wear before. I wanted to see if they stood up to all the hype that people had basically said about them online, because you never know. So I like this suit because while it is basic in color, the style is really interesting and unique and it's very comfortable. I guess I just don't get the string bikini trend. I mean, they're cute, but I don't, I don't get it. The third brand is a brand called X Plus Wear. I get a lot of dresses from them and I wanted to see how their swim was and just check it out and see like what, what they had to offer. So this suit is huge. Uh, this is the top. I have this on underneath because it's so big that it like just, it just comes up. There's literally no tension on it. Um, if you are super plus though, these are really cute suits. Um, and if you aren't super plus, just order down according to their size chart because they're, I would say two sizes at least bigger than what you order for this suit. Um, I just wouldn't wear it myself, but Someone's out there probably seeing this and being like, damn. I don't understand how this suit can be this oversized to the point where there's like, it won't even stay down. And the cover up can be this small. What? Like what? 
And the last is a brand called Toluca. Now I have been getting ads for Toluca like all the time. They supposedly just lost, launched Plus and they go up to a 3X now. Now I'll tell you what, while I was unwrapping the Toluca swimsuits, I was very hesitant to believe that any of these swimsuits were Plus. So uh, I don't even know if we're gonna get to try any of those swimsuits on because girl, they look like they're gonna fit my thigh. They look like they're gonna fit my thigh, like one thigh. That's it. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot of swim. Um, literally, if you didn't find something from this video, I, I can't help you, I'm done. I, I, I think I am swimmed out for this season. <laughs> I kind of feel super cool because we've done something that's never been done on YouTube before. There's never been a swimsuit haul of this size. The closest I could find to anything similar to this was like this random woman who was definitely like a e-commerce woman just trying on, like standing there trying on the swimsuits, like not even talking about them, not a haul. So I, I feel proud that we pulled this off, that we did it, we went big and we tried something new. And um, I don't know if I can ever do this again. <laughs> I mean, if you guys really like it and enough people watch it, then maybe. But this this was a ton of work, researching, purchasing, everything. Just was a lot, a lot, a lot to do. I don't regret doing it. I think I learned about some new brands. I think that there are other brands I still could share with you guys, but maybe just either couldn't get here in time or were sold out in their plus sizes, which was actually a problem with some of the brands that I wanted to include. Um, which is crazy because it's only June, right? I would have thought that they would have been in stock longer, but just goes to show there is a market for plus size if plus size suits are selling out so quickly. Um, I did try to focus in this haul on affordable swim. So there's nothing in this haul that's over like $75. And so there were some brands that I didn't include because they were just really expensive. So yeah, everything in this haul was affordable and I did that intentionally because I wanted to help you find swim that you could wear and afford. So whatever your price point is, whatever your style is, hopefully you found something in this haul that makes you feel fabulous wherever you choose to enjoy the water this summer season. So links to everything are down in the description box. This might be my longest list of links ever. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.